When you're in the kitchen, boiling a kettle, blending a smoothie, it's a perfect time to do some push-ups. Take your legs on out, your body's in a flat plank, little scoop under your hips to protect your lower back, and start with some little ones there as you warm up through your upper body, start to go a little bit lower. Breathe in on the way down and out on the way back up. Pull into your tummy muscles as you come up and really push that kitchen counter away and go for about 20 of these or as many as you can fit in until you're ready with your tea or your smoothie. The washing, always so much washing. So this is when you do your washing basket squats. As you are grabbing an item of clothing to either hang up on your line, put in your dryer or fold on up, Stick your bottom back, work back into those heels there, then squeeze into those glutes to come on up as you fold or hang up the washing. Then you grab the next one as you squat on down. You wanna get back in those heels there so you really activate through your glutes and you get to have a nice hold down there as you grab your item of clothing and then squeeze to come on up. I'm already feeling my thighs burning here. Love it. You can also, when you are down there, do some little pulse squats. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse before you come on up and be done with that washing. <laughs> you might find at this time of year, there's a lot of these around, your wine bottles. So put them to good use and turn them into a workout. You're gonna start by taking the wine bottles to the back, or of course you can use whatever bottles you've got, and lifting up and down there. Make sure the lid or the cork is in properly and that you're holding on tight. And this move here works through your triceps this little bit here, lifting up and down here. As it's up there now, you're gonna squeeze them together, making sure you're not smashing them as they go in and squeeze. You're opening up through your chest here. You're also working through your shoulders and all your arms should be starting to burn by now. Then you're gonna bring it on up to the side and we open here, draw them in and out and in and out. Keeping your elbows lifting, align with your shoulders if you can to keep working through that burn. It's quite amazing how things this little can become so heavy so quickly. When you're at your stove, cooking up some dinner, stirring your pot, it's the perfect moment to do some heel raises. Start off by a little scoop under those hips, zip up there through your tummy muscles, raise both heels and then drop them on down. And that is it. But very quickly you will feel the burn at the back of your legs. So many little moments in your day that you can get in some heel raises, whether you're at your stove, whether you are waiting in the queue, you can always, always get some of these into your day. It's also a lovely moment to check in with your posture. So take those shoulders back and down, open up through your chest so that you can get rid of this slouch over feeling and feel a whole lot more confident and open. And this last move is the ultimate excuse buster of no time to exercise. I'm sure you brush your teeth, so the next time you're brushing them, take your legs out, turn your toes out, and drop down and up into a nice wide open squat there. Your body goes straight on down the middle and it's gonna activate into your inner thighs as you push into your feet, as you straighten up your legs and get scrubbing of those teeth. The other move you can do is a little pulse on down to really get the burn happening in here. Little tiny pulses, keep those hips scooped under, opening up through your chest. And lastly, you finish off with some crazy thigh dancing. Draw those knees in, take them on out, in and out, in and out. And as the rest of your household is having a laugh at you, or maybe you're having a laugh at yourself, you know that you have found all these little different moments in your day to give back to yourself, to get yourself fitter and stronger. And all those little moments really do add up to making a big difference. All you need is a couple of minutes here and there.